Hi YouTube! I am um, actually recording you here and I'm live here. I am doing something new and different. Um, as you can see from the background, if you're familiar with my lives, uh, you know that I'm live because I'm in the car. Because trolls. I can't move soon enough. But anyway. I decided to do something new and different this time with this new unboxing. And since I've never seen this deck of cards on YouTube, I knew I had to do the unboxing. And the deck of cards in question is Don Miguel Ruiz, I believe is how you say his name, uh, the Four Agreements cards. Back in the summer, you guys know I read the book, The Four Agreements. It's a, very, it's a spirituality book. And the purpose of it is to teach you um, basically how to control your temper better, how to control your emotions better, um, just all around control you better. And to remind yourself that... What people think of you is not your fault, your problem. It's got nothing to do with you. It's all them. And it actually helped me get through these last few months. Uh, and for everybody who said, Ashley, how do you put up with all this hate? Well, this was the secret. There's a whole series of books, a diary, a whole bunch of stuff. I've got several of the books. I wanted the cards for ages. I was sent these yesterday. I actually meant to do the unboxing last night, but things got hectic and I forgot. So without further ado, this is the cards. That's for live. That's for y'all. And this is, oh, this is a little flap top box. It's a cute little box. Uh, and before I open it, of course, you know, it's got the preview of the car, of the, I believe this is the book covers, actually, looking at it, but it has to be home to compare. And then on the back, it tells you a little bit about uh, the four agreements, what it means, how it works. It's got a preview of some of the cards. You open it up, and it says uh, who illustrated it across this top flap and then here's our cards you can always tell hay house by the square shape and that paper band uh, the bottom of the box is semi-plain it says something just copyright info the material on these cards is based on text from the books, the four agreements, and the four agreements companion book. Okay. So there you go. The four agreements, the four agreements companion book inspired this deck. There's the fifth agreement, which I just finished reading. And then there's like, um, mastery of love and self and mind. And there's a lot. If you go to Amazon or even Google and search, um, you'll see now. Whoa. Okay. Um. We have a little note card from him. Dear friends, I've written these cards to offer you a simple yet powerful code of conduct for attaining personal freedom and true happiness. There are 12 cards corresponding to each of the four agreements. One, be impeccable with your word. Two, don't take anything personally. Three, don't make assumptions. And four, always do your best. These cards will help you transform your life as you recover 
the awareness and wisdom of your authentic self. When I tell you these books are a hell of a read, even if you only read the four agreements, yeah, you will definitely appreciate it. Um... Don Bugo, Don Bugo, Ruiz, Ruiz, I'm not really sure I say that last name. Um, he is actually from Mexico and teaches Aztec beliefs, which is what this is all based off of. Now, I'm going to read these in order as it came from my lap. The first card, be impeccable with your word. Speak with integrity. That's what the back says. Okay. Say only what you mean. Avoid using the word to speak against yourself or to gossip about others. Use the power of your word in the direction of truth and love. That's... I like these. Be impeccable with your word. Realize the power of your word. I see the back. Your word is the power that you have to create. It is a gift that comes directly from God. Be impeccable with your word. Manifest your true intentions. Regardless of what language you speak, your intent will manifest through the word. What you dream, what you feel, and what you really are will all be manifested through the word. This, uh, I'm answering to my own life. This is the Four Agreements deck. Uh, it's part of a spirituality book series that is amazing. If you haven't read it, I recommend it immensely. Just listen to the cards. I'll tell you all you need to know. Be impeccable with your word. Create a beautiful dream. Your word can create the most beautiful dream, or your word can destroy everything around you. Impeccability of the word only creates beauty, love, and heaven on earth. Spirituality book. Be impeccable with your word. Let go of self-judgment and blame. Oh, that's a big one. This is going to be a really long video. I'm sorry. Being impeccable, you take responsibility for your actions, but you do not judge or blame yourself for anything. We take responsibility, but we do not blame or judge. We don't need to do that. We just accept that we did it, accept the punishment, and move on. Be impeccable with your word. Express your love. I'm sure you guys can see the backs. Impeccability of the word can be measured by your level of self-love. If you love yourself, you will express that love in your interactions with others, and that action will produce a like reaction. What is it I've been saying since the beginning of the year? I want a self love reading. I mean, I want a self love year. And what that deck to say? Come on, you can't love others unless you love yourself. You really can't. I wonder if 
a, I don't want that close to my face, but that should help it a, with, a little bit with the deck. Be impeccable with your word. Replace fear with love. The human mind is like a fertile ground where, where seeds are continually being planted when you are impeccable with your word. Your mind is no longer fertile ground for the words that come from your fear. Or they come from fear. Your mind is only fertile for the words that come from love. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Be impeccable with your word. Culture, cultivate faith. To have great faith is to have great power. Because your intent, your will is undivided when your word isn't dissip dissipated by doubt, the power of your word becomes even stronger. Doubt is definitely an enemy of any kind of manifestation or magic working. Ooh, this is going to be a long video. <laughs> and be impeccable with your words. Seek to know the truth. Somebody's too big. Somebody's too small and I can't beat it. When you have an opinion and believe it, you make an agreement and it becomes part of your belief system. The only thing that can break this agreement is to make a new one based on truth. The only, only the truth has the power to set you free. See why I say these books are deep? Be impeccable with your word. Become a white magician. All the magic you possess is based on your word. And you cast spells all the time with your opinions. You can either put a spell on someone with your word, or you can release someone from a spell. Be impeccable with your word. Release the need to be right. That's the back. When you believe something, you assume you are right. And you may even destroy relationships in order to defend your position. Let go of the need to defend your position. Be impeccable with your word. This is the last word one. Enjoy heaven on earth. Impeccability of the word can lead you to personal freedom, success, and abundance. You can attain the kingdom from the kingdom of heaven from this one agreement. Be impeccable with your word. So much reading. I'm already like 14 minutes in. Don't take anything personally. Be immune to others' opinions. Yes. Yes. 
What others say and do is a projection of their own reality, their own dream. When you are immune to their opinions and actions of others, you won't be the victim of needless suffering. Don't take anything personally. Transform your life. <laughs> when you refuse to take things personally, you avoid many upsets in your life. Your feelings of anger, of jealousy, and of even of your sadness will simply disappear if you don't take things personally. Don't take anything personally. Your faith. No, I'm sorry. Your truth is personal to you. Yes. <coughs> your own opinions and point of view reflect your own agreements and are personal to you. It is no one's truth but yours. Period. Nobody can tell you your truth because they're not you. Don't take anything personally. Relinquish self-importance. Personal importance. Oh, I didn't let y'all see the backs. Personal importance or taking things personally is the maximum expression of selfishness because we make the assumption that everything is about me. Now, do you guys see how this has gotten me through what I'm going through? The books are even better. There's a story of a little girl who sings that just mind-blowing. I'm telling you. It'll change your whole view. Don't take anything personally. Everyone lives in their own dream. Yep. All people live in their own dream in their own mind. They're in a completely different world from the one we live in. That's why you can look at somebody and being... Um... Being like, wow, like, what kind of world are they in really does make sense. Just saying. Don't take anything personally. She see other people as they are. Stop putting them rose-tinted glasses on. I haven't even read the card yet. I'm saying that. When you see other people as they are without taking it personally, you can... You can never be hurt by what they say or do. Even if others lie to you, it is okay. They are lying to you because they are afraid you will discover that they are not perfect. Oh, come on. Come on, guys. Do you see how these books got me through this? How they get me through this? Seriously. Don't take anything personally. Refuse to eat Emotional poison. <laughs> Taking things personally makes you pray for predators. They can hook your attention with one little opinion and feed you whatever poison they want. Refuse to eat poison. 
I'm seeing the signs that I look for every night. So we're going to have to hurry up and just show you the front sides and stop reading the backs. I'm sorry. I had the plan to do them all. Don't take anything personally. Ignore the opinions of others. Don't take anything personally. Release self-judgment. Don't take anything personally. Embrace your freedom. Don't take anything personally. Become immune to poison. Don't take anything personally. Love and respect yourself. Don't make assumptions. Discern the truth. Discern means find it. Somewhere in the middle is the truth. Don't make assumptions. Eliminate gossip. Don't make assumptions. Learn to ask questions. Oh, I wish I had the time to read all of these. Don't make assumptions. Assume nothing. Don't make assumptions. Let your life be transformed. Don't make assumptions. Be yourself around others. Don't make assumptions. Be aware of unconscious assumptions. The assumptions that we make without meaning to. Because that happens. We do that. We're human. Don't make assumptions. Speak openly and honestly. Don't make assumptions. Say goodbye to sadness and drama. Don't make assumptions. Ask for what you want. Don't make assumptions. Relinquish the need to change others. That is not your responsibility. That is not your problem. That is not your issue. If it's not your child, even if it is your child, it's not your job to change them or to attempt to. So, don't make assumptions. Communicate with clarity. I still feel so bad I can't read them all. But this probably would have been a 40 minute video at that rate. So I guess it worked out. Always do your best. Your best is changing all the time. Remember that. Our best is always getting better. If I went through readings like this, I would be told I was rushing. So, yeah, no. Always do your best. Don't overdo. Overdoing is just as bad, if not worse, as underdoing. Good night. Sorry we had to stop reading. Again, I do have live going. Always do your best. Stay in the present moment. Mindfulness is one way to attract positivity into your life. For real. Happy birthday, Tina. Always do your best. Take action on your own ideas. Always do your best. Honor yourself. For real, you are a blessing. You are amazing. Everybody, all of us, we're all amazing blessings. Always do your best. Take action without expecting a reward. Period. Not even karmic rewards. That's just not 
we, we don't do things to get things. We do things because we want to help. We want to do better. We want to be nicer. We don't want rewards. Always do your best. Practice makes the master. Remember, we don't learn how to do things overnight. We have to practice. Well, happy birthday to the kitty cat, too. Always do your best. Express your own divinity. We are all divine at our core. No matter what your religious belief, every religion believes we are divine. Always do your best. Do your best because you want to. Always do your best, surrender, and let go of the past. The past holds us back and down and gets us nowhere. God, I wish I could have kept reading these. Always do your best, love and nurture your body. Your body is your temple. Believe that. I haven't been very good to mine. But I've hurt my body because my body hurts me. Yeah. Think about it. Finally, always do your best. Take your life and enjoy it. I will read this one. You are alive, so take your life and enjoy it. You were born with the right to be happy, to love, and to share your love. Just to be. To take a risk and enjoy your life is all that matters. So that was my first ever YouTube live unboxing of a deck. That was the um, Four Agreements by Don Miguel Ruiz. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, this is a series of books. If you guys want, I can do a video speaking on at least the four agreements. In fact, I've been planning to, so maybe that's what I'll do next. I know I did not do the weekly readings this week. Life got in the way. I'm still getting used to YouTube. So maybe some point this week or weekend, I will do a talk on at least the two books of the series that I have read and kind of introduce you guys to this because this is life changing and has definitely helped me to get through the hell that has been social media and the cyber stalking, harassing, and bullying that I have endured since I've been on it. So, with that being said, I'm going to wrap it up. This is a long ass video. If you haven't already, please click that subscription button and ding that bell. That way you'll know whenever I go live or post a new video. I am live every day. Right now the schedule is Monday to Saturday. I start between 5 and 6 p.m. Eastern Time. Sunday I start between 11 a.m. and 1 p.m. Eastern Time. Somewhere in there. Not long after if I'm late. Um, when I'm not struggling, I'm also live on TikTok at the same time. I do do little videos on TikTok every day. All that information is down in the description box. My social medias, uh, how to get personal readings, how much they cost, how to pay, everything, including how to get a copy of this for yourself and um, basically everything you need to know and can't ask me because we're not chatting. Um, I'm sorry for the little bit of live breaks that we've had, but this was my first live unboxing. If you guys liked it, I'll do more. Um, I am getting ready to order myself some more tarot cards, so we will definitely have some more material here in the coming weeks. Uh, with all of that being said, I will see you all again tomorrow. Um... At the regular live, and I may film the weekly videos. I don't know. I feel like Tuesday's a little too late, so. And I'm already like halfway through April, so I screwed up this month. 
bear with me. We're getting back into our, our YouTube schedule, okay? I love y'all. Thank y'all for the support. Thank y'all for subscribing. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you all very, very soon. Bye!